Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to flash a Verizon Wireless Sprint US Cellular, I think a track phone too works, I think there's a few other ones, um, Galaxy S3, S4, Note 2, Note 3, I'm sure this will work for LG G2s and other things too, um, as long as you can find an unlock code and put it in diagnostics mode. So I offer this service on Fiverr.com for $5, this is for a 1x flash. And if you're interested in it and you don't really want to worry about all this messing around with your phone, I can do it remotely on your PC for $5. That's a 1x flash. And if you'd like 3G, I can do it for $20. So that's a $15 add-on. So if you're interested, it's at Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R dot -E com forward slash Broadwell. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So you can use software called DFS. You can find it at a just Google DFS. You can find it. It's on cdma-tool.com, I believe. And you just need the demo mode for this. Um, so we're in demo mode. Um, you need to put it in diagnostics mode. So there's tutorials on how to do it. I think the Viper has one. Or the Viper 32, I think. I think that's its name. Who knows how to do it. Uh, has, and it has the unlock codes um, for Android 4.3. You're going. It's going to require a different method. So Google it. Um, I think I'll put the link it put in the description on how to put it in diagnostics mode. I don't have a Galaxy S3 or S4 or Note or whatever to test it out with. So I'm going to briefly show you how to do this. This is with my Convoy. So we get some password. See device unlocked, and then device unlocked. Um, I will be censoring out some of this stuff because I don't want people finding out. So once you're in your name, if you're going to read your SPC, BSN, your IMEI ID, I don't have an IMEI, your config here, and then your cave. So once after you read all this, you're going to go to select envy only tap right tap reset. Okay, so we're going to tap reset. Once you write it, the device is going to go offline. Just making sure it's recording. So in your SPC, which if it's uh, Verizon, it's all zeros, and then your password, this is for a sound Galaxy account about Samsung Convoy, so yeah, read that, make sure everything's stuck, it actually didn't stick because they didn't write it, but yeah, so you can read everything off of here, so you can replace this with your SID, um, you can call page plus to get this, um, so you're just going to type it in, for instance, because that's my SID. You're going to put leave this blank and then you're going to put in your MIN number, whatever your MIN number is. Pretend that we copied it. I think that's whatever. You get the point. You're going to copy over your phone number here and then don't worry about any of this. Let me set your preference mode. I'm trying to remember. I think you leave it at automatic home preference. Um, then you're going to load a PRL. Um, you're going to go to server. They have a list of PRLs. If you like a more newer, per, a more accurate PRL, you can Google it. Um, if you're running a Sprint phone, I recommend you look for a Sprint PRL. This is for Verizon phones. So we're going to pick the latest one, and you're going to tap right, and then tap reset. Once you've tapped right and reset, you're going to, uh, this is for Verizon Wireless Galaxy Next, the uh, Galaxy S3s only. So you're going to go to NAM2, and then once it's used in the passwords again, and then you're going to tap right again. Sometimes it doesn't actually necessarily stick. Um, 
make sure you're reading off everything to make sure everything stuck. See, I didn't actually write it, but you can see it didn't stick. And this happens a lot, and if it doesn't stick, you just reset. Oh, I'm a damn monster. I'm gonna read it again. But make sure you don't write it to NAM2. You just want to write it to NAM1, and you write the parallel to NAM2 for Verizon only. Sometimes it'll stick, sometimes it won't stick. It doesn't necessarily matter. I don't really know why. I've just been told that's what you're supposed to do. You can read it. Everything. And you're gonna select three of A. If it's not select three of A, just leave that enable. Don't really mess with anything. Not necessary. You can replace this with your phone number. Your phone number. And you replace this. This is a password. And you type B C W, and then you place that with your phone number. B B C W. Tap right and then read. Um, so we're gonna go to mobile and you reset your device. So let's just reset our device just for the heck of it, even though I'm not really doing anything. Um, if you're using a different, you're gonna be under a different port than this port. This is for like their Samsung flip phones, I think. Anyways, what's the password? No, no, no. Oh, there it goes. So, yeah. I'll read it back, make sure it's stuck, but then it actually. So now you're going to go to read here. And then you're going to replace this with your phone number. Your phone number, don't touch anything else. And then see here, these are 8888 hex keys. I have them censored out because, well, these are what required. So if you have three G, if you only get three G to work, you're going to need these keys. Um, but since I've censored, but they have to be specifically written to your IMEI in order for them to work. Um, so, you tap BZW, BZW, and you want to click write current profiles. Settings. You tap that, and then you tap right, and then you're gonna reset, and then you're gonna read. And then you go back to data, you tap read. Make sure everything's stuck. You just did. Tap read. Read. You want to make sure everything's stuck. I'm actually running a different PRL um, on this phone than what's on here. And then you're just gonna get read, 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 read. And then that should about do it. Um, so I know this isn't like the best tutorial in the entire world because I'm not actually doing this. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe um, if you're interested in doing this I can do this remotely on your computer for five dollars on Fiverr.com. Um, and if you just like to do it yourself, I just showed you how to do it. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching.